Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 5th, 2020. So yesterday, we struggled around a little bit. We, we stayed pretty bullish all day long. We had a little whipping back and forth on a very news-driven day, but at the end of the day we saw a huge surge and we've been seeing that huge surge um, at the end of the day for some time now as um, institutions really dry are driving this um, a market higher now what's going on this morning well we are fueled up once again this morning um, looking for a big gap up. Take a look right here. Diamond's looking for a gap up open of about 200 points right now. And we're all juiced up on um, hopes of a stimulus deal. Apparently they're coming close to an agreement on a stimulus d uh, deal. And we've heard news that the FOMC is likely to soon announce that they're going to permanently well i shouldn't say permanently but they're willing to going to be willing to hold interest rates near record lows um, for potentially years um, in an attempt to um, get inflation above 2%. So all of those kind of things have got the, the market all fired up and uh, moving really, really hard this morning. And, you know, we've got, um, you know, enough bullishness in the earnings reports, even though, you know, it... it we've lowered estimates so much on these earnings reports that it's made it pretty easy for a lot of these companies apparently to hit those earnings reports you know for example disney yesterday reported losing three and a half billion dollars in park revenue but because they've got 100 million subscribers they were able to squeak out a earnings beat and the stock is um, indicated significantly higher this morning at the open. So it's just that remarkable circumstance that we have during earnings events, which has become nothing more than a manipulation nowadays um, in the market. But we're, we've got enough of that right now that there's just all of this bullishness circulating around. We, we completely, um, no one cares about the mounting debt. And um, at least at this point, no one seems to care about the mounting debt that we are rapidly approaching $27 trillion in debt and what that may mean for the future of the country but right now it's party like it's 1999 we are juiced up on all kinds of government spending and the market continues to run higher if we take a look at the technicals here in the chart pretty darn remarkable when you take a look at this we we broke that little uptrend right there and we're back up here testing it as resistance now this morning we're going to break through this downtrend we have that downtrend here but we're gonna break through that pushing right up here into that level um, in the chart so diamonds is going to break through and we're likely to see that moving average the 50-day moving average cross over the 200 here today so lots and lots of bullishness the bulls are definitely in control and they're just riding on a wave of government money if we take a look at the spy spy also looking at a substantial gap up this morning we are breaking through resistance levels in this chart pushing on up we may well soon be looking at a market that um, uh, an SPY um, potentially um, pushing into new record highs here on the SPY. Um, kind of a remarkable thing when we think about how much unemployment there is out there in the market and the devastation that businesses have experienced. But right now, none of it matters as long as the government continues to print funds and, and push it out there. So we're looking really, really good. Very, very bullish here in um, the SPY. Lots of upside momentum 
as we continue to push and push and push higher. Now, the tech sector has been by far the leader in the market and has pushed this this morning will be the 31st record high this year in uh, the NASDAQ. We just continue to just almost daily uh, break to new record high, showing lots and lots of strength. We did have this, this worry up here for a little while. We had that um, double top high possibility in the chart, but we're breaking right on through there as we continue to just print and print and print, uh, pushing the market higher. So Q's very high, flying high, really stretched out here overall, but there is no sign of this stopping um, at the moment. The bulls are comp completely in the control and the bears just have no chance. Um, in a market like this where we continue to just print. Um, so all kinds of bulls here, no sign of turning around at this moment. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM has been pushing, pushing, pushing. And yesterday, for the first time in quite a while, we closed above our 500-day moving average. Notice the 50-day moving average maybe later this week, first part of next week, as long as the bears don't show up, um, will cross over its 200 day for the first time since, uh, you know, all the way back in here in March. So looking strong and this morning's gap up, we um, are challenging the resistance high of this pop right over here um, and that possibility of breaking higher. So lots of good warm and fuzzy feelings this morning. Bulls are solidly in control as we push higher. Um, let's take a look at the VIX. For the first time since all the way back here in February, we finally slipped below and closed below a 24 handle here on the VIX. So we're finally starting to pull this back just a little bit, and I suspect with the bullishness this morning, we will pull it back even more. Maybe push down here, testing this next layer of support around that 500 day moving average in these support levels in this area. It's still remarkable to me and almost uh, like, um, in, in a twilight zone <laughs> um, scenario where we are pushing to new record highs in the market and our VIX remains elevated above um, these 20 handles. It's truly a remarkable thing that I've not seen in, in my career. What that means, I don't know, but right now, as long as we continue to print, the market continues to love it and we um, could see this sinking down a little bit further, maybe approaching that 20 handle in uh, the VIX. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, this gap up this morning is likely to push us right up here into that bearish reversal zone. We're gonna be right up here topping this thing out pretty darn hard um, this morning. So we'll want to keep an eye on that if by chance the bears have an opportunity to take any profits and that might be a stretch considering what um what we're seeing in the news from the fomc and the commitment to keep interest rates low for possible years so interesting um situation in the market what that means overall i don't know but we continue to press these upper levels setting those new records as we continue to inflate the market let's take a look at t2101 this is something that really is concerning to me and maybe i'm just absolutely wrong on this and that certainly could be the case and that is this absolute breadth indicator um, absolute breadth of the market is showing that fewer and fewer companies are doing the heavy lifting here in the market we know as traders if we've been looking through the charts we have lots of stocks just drifting sideways in the market lack of support in them 
um, in those trades. Now, August is typically a low volume month and a challenging month for the market, but not this not this year when we're just printing at an unbelievable p pace to keep the market higher. So maybe this doesn't matter anymore. Maybe it doesn't matter that only a few companies are lifting the market, but it is still a concern for me and it is remarkable to me that we're seeing the market breadth collapse as hard as we are while the market is still rallying. Kind of an interesting situation um, for sure. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar, um, we do have some things that we're going to want to pay attention to do. And we're building toward a, a big number on Friday. So we'll want to pay attention to that as well. If we take a look here, as you can see, we've got the ADP report this morning we'll be watching that for the jobless numbers um, if we take a look at consensus or not jobless numbers but employment numbers um, consensus is looking for a decline of about we were at 2.3 last time consensus is showing us about a 1.8 um, million um, this week so a little bit of a pullback in that i don't know that that'll bother the market at all jobs don't matter um, right now um, in this situation because what we've really done is taken all of the un those that are unemployed and basically turned them into temporary federal employees and so jobless joblessness doesn't matter um, up in in the market right now and um, whether that that pullback will have any effect or not in light of all of the federal spending I don't know that it will. We also have international trade this morning. International trade is looking for a little tiny improvement going from a, a prior of a minus 54.6 to a minus 50.3. So a little tiny improvement in that. We've got ISM non-manufacturing, probably not going to be an issue at all today in the market and then of course the petroleum status number that will be very important uh, for those oil sector stocks that uh, tried to make a rally yesterday um, so we'll want to watch that closely we do have a fed speaker uh, later on today that we'll want to pay attention to but likely not to learn anything new there on the earnings calendar, we have a huge earnings calendar today with over 300 companies reporting earnings and a, quite a few potential notables, more than I can really cover um, in um, the video this morning. But um, one of the stocks that um, has been one of those high flyers here um, this year is Fastly. And you can see Fastly will be reporting uh, today so we'll want to keep an eye on that. This has been in a tremendous upside run um, and uh, could move higher. We've got SQ um, reporting and it looks like they have reported extremely well, um, gapping up this morning. SQ very, very strong as more and more people are using their payment system. It's looking very, very good. We're also going to hear from Etsy. Now, Etsy has had a remarkable run and literally um has been um, stronger than ever before on um, covid uh, because a lot of people buying uh, things online and as you can see moving up sharply here and um, trying to gap up even this morning uh, before that earnings report so watch that close we're going to get news from um, stocks like GoDaddy, um, stocks like Humana, uh, Jack in the Box. We've got MRO, um, several big oil sector uh, stocks reporting today. We're going to hear from Roku. Roku today on an earnings report. We'll want to keep an eye on that. And you can see it's a set to open about where it closed. We'll want to watch that. Wendy's is reporting today. Um, so just a huge array of earnings that could move us around this morning. And so we'll want to keep an eye on those. Let's take a look 
at some stocks that are setting up and continuing to look very good in this market. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please um, click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up um, so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And you know, guys, the purpose of these videos is not to provide any hype. It's not to provide any prediction to the market. They are only there to take a look at the technicals and determine how you want to approach the market for the day. And if you find those that information to be helpful, please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief message. It helps us continue to grow the channel. And I just want to say thanks to everyone who does do that. You guys are awesome. And I truly, truly appreciate um, each and every one of you for uh, the support of this channel's content. You guys are awesome. So with that, let's take a look at some some of these stocks and remember every time I show you one of these stocks that could be setting up it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security it's just part of the education and things that I provide and if you find that helpful um, you know um, please make sure that you do your own due diligence and um, um, decide whether or not any of these trades might suit you personally, but it's not a recommendation for me to buy or sell. Let's take a look. Um, Corning. Corning has been doing very, very well recently, and it kind of makes some sense. Corning um, is a big supplier of the um, Gorilla Glass, or the very strong glass, that is used in all of the mobile devices out there. And with the old mobile devices just um, being bought up like crazy um, in um, this market, Corning is doing quite well. So Corning, um, nice, nice old boring company, big dividend payer. You can see setting up a nice potential pattern here. And I've placed an alert on that chart right in here. As we kind of slide our our way over toward this trend. I want to be watching this for that opportunity of Corning popping out, moving on higher. So keep an eye on that. Um, you also want to keep a close eye on UPS and FDX. FDX and UPS have done very, very well um, recently. And in the COVID environment, more and more people buying online, those shippers are very, very busy. So keep an eye on that. Both of these, UPS and FDX, are in good quality bullish patterns and setting up and already starting to move. So watch those carefully. Another one of those old kind of boring companies I have been mentioning is Kimberly Clark. And you can see Kimberly Clark just hit one out of the park yesterday, taking it up big time. Kimberly Clark, um, um, we might want to keep an eye on um, any kind of rest or pullback now sets up an additional opportunity. This is a big breakout here. Kimberly Clark, very, very strong. So keep a close eye on that. A chart that I actually picked up yesterday um, um, as a buy um, was utilities, XLU. One of the things that we're seeing right now is we're seeing a little bit of a move toward more of safety security um, trades as we continue to extend out um, that tech sector. It looks like there might be some rotation into a little bit more of a safety play. And you can see XLU pushing up here and setting up. This morning, it's looking for maybe just a little gap higher, a little bit of a move. It will trigger my alert today. Um, XLU, um, you might want to keep an eye on that. That's looking pretty good. Of course, we have to continue to mention gold. As we continue to devalue the US dollar, continue to print, we are approaching $27 trillion in debt. And nobody seems to care except the U.S. dollar continues to decline and that continues to push gold higher and higher. And as you can see, it rallied strongly yesterday and it is rallying strongly this morning. So gold moving up, silver moving up strongly, as you can see. And what's interesting is we're even seeing um, like TLT, 20-year um, treasury, um, was moving up yesterday and TIPS bonds 
um, setting new record highs. Um, kind of remarkable that um, we're seeing gold, silver, bonds, utilities, defensive sector type stocks rallying um, as the market pushes up to new record highs. It's kind of a unique situation that we're not well, that we don't typically see um, in the market. Take a look at KHC. KHC is another one of those defensive sector um, stocks, packaged foods. And as you can see, it is rallying back up and triggered my alert yesterday in this trade. Now, I still think there's a possibility this could slip and slide sideways here a little bit before it continues to move higher. But they reported well this year um, or this quarter um, with strong sales as people have been stocking up and staying home more. And, and hey, those kids that are home, um, just love Kraft macaroni and cheese and ketchup, I guess. So looking pretty good right here in KHC. Keep an eye on that. Marvel, Marvel is also something you might want to keep an eye on. Now, this broke a little bit of support. As you can see, we kind of slipped and fell broke some price support but we've rallied right back up into here so any rest or hold in this area um, gives us the opportunity for that next upside move in marvel so keep an eye on that been seeing some pretty good results from best buy continuing to push through my alert showing lots of strength it's consolidating here a bit but with the bullishness in the market that we're seeing today we may get that upside move and we might want to keep an eye on that. And then, of course, um, I mentioned Disney already. Uh, Disney's results um, in its earnings report pushing up really sharply here this morning. And I think any kind of um, consolidating move, if we get any kind of rest or pullback um, after this gap up where we just kind of drift along against this resistance for a little bit we want to watch that for that potential pop through Disney might be finally starting to come back around and might be a pretty decent uh, purchase here in the near future so keep an eye on that also seeing uh, I, I'm sorry I'm running along but I need to mention McDonald's um, fast food seems to be having uh, enjoying a pretty substantial surge with so many restaurants Restaurants being closed, people are choosing to go through uh, the fast food um, restaurant chains, and you can see um, McDonald's really nice move yesterday perking up here i had that alerted in here we popped through pulled back and tested that as support now pushing up watch this level of resistance up here if we can push through this level um, watch for mcdonald's to really start seeking out some highs here so keep that one in mind pretty decent looking pattern here in the chart so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day um, we are in full-on bullish party mode Let's party like it's 1999. Um, debt doesn't seem to matter as long as we continue to print. So I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I wish you great profits. And um, everyone, please be safe out there. Um, COVID numbers are starting to come down, but it's still a dangerous environment out there. Be safe. Be careful. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day, everyone.